Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for visiting. Today I want to do an update on my Coinbase ICP, AI, my USDC account on my Coinbase account where I have my ICP. Now I have ICP in three different places. I have it on uh, Coinbase because I want to keep some available to trade when it goes up and down just playing with it it's you know it's it's okay and then the second place is on I've got it staked and locked in and then I've got a little bit that's not staked and locked in on the same website which is let's see if I can get to it here the website is nnsdap nns.ico.app I got the uh, the card let me go back to the card because I want to show you some stuff about the card I got the Coinbase Visa debit card because I didn't want to use a credit card no more and and to keep from, from paying exorbitant interest fees and stuff on credit cards what you can do is just save up a little bit of money at a time and put it in your Coinbase account and put it in your in your wallet, USDC wallet, USDC wallet, and uh, and that way you can use your card. But you can also use your card with uh, with most other cryptocurrencies that you have in Coinbase. So you can just switch it from one wallet to the other. Uh, let's see. Yeah, change assets. I'm currently spending USDC. So if I want to uh, see right, if you can see it, USDC. So if you want to change it, so I mean, if you want to read it, there it is. And then you click continue, and then it gives you all your uh, whatever you have. Like I have USDC, Internet Computer, Polygon, Jasmine. And I can change it to any of those. I can change it to any of those. Or if I had Bitcoin on here, you could change it to Bitcoin. So that's pretty cool. But right now I'm gonna leave it on USDC. Uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, one is I get 5.10% on my purchases. So, you know, uh, some of my friends have debit cards, or not debit cards, but credit cards that they want to charge stuff on. They always want to buy the drinks or, or buy the snack or whatever with their, uh, with their credit card so they can get the rewards. Well, here you get the rewards on your card without charging it to a credit card. So, and you can use your ICP the same way. But I'm not going to get into this right now. This is going to be a different uh, video. But, uh, but there are some things that you cannot use your Visa debit card on Coinbase for. Uh, and I'll just give you a couple of examples. Uh, security broker deals, uh, dating and escort services, massage parlors. I mean... I don't know if they should be doing that or not, if they should be blocking that. I mean, it's your money and your card. You should be able to spend it the way you want to. But so far, I haven't had any issues getting gas and snacks and drinks and different stuff like that. Just my everyday stuff, paying for bowling, paying for golf, buying golf balls. The normal stuff that I do is fine. But if you do some of this other stuff, you might want to use a different card because this card's not going to work. Because uh, online casinos, you can't use this card for. So anyway, I just wanted to share that little bit of information and let you know that so far, I'm, I'm happy with it. Let's see. And right there, it tells you I'm making 5.10%. 5.10% every time I purchase something. I mean, I, why can't you complain about that, you know? If you want to do some of this other stuff that this card won't let you do, just use one of your other cards. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to share with you today 
is, and I'm going to try to make this a normal thing on my videos when I do it, uh, the stock market uh, on crude oil, the N-Y-M-E-X, the crude oil is C-L-W-O-O, -O, crude oil futures, and it says futures when, it, I don't know why it says that, but it's the, the what it's going for. And right now, it's going for $79 a barrel. Now, the other day, it was $82 a barrel. And they said, you know, they had something going on over in the Middle East and something happened. And they said, oh, there's problems. The oil, price of oil is going to go up. So immediately, they raised the gas prices. I mean, it went up like 20, 30 percent, or 20 or 30 cents a gallon. And so I, I, I watched the oil prices, and immediately the oil prices started coming down. So since they said that, it was $82, now it's $78.99 today. And that just, that, that's backwards, that don't make no sense. So the price of crude oil is going down, and the gas stations raised the price of gas. Just because something happened in the Middle East, and they thought that oil was going to go up, and it actually went down. That is just, let's just see, five days ago. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but right there it was $83.85. And there, there was, oh, it's going to go up. There's problems. It's going to go up. And, and then, as you can see, the red line there, it goes down. Uh, I think you can see it. Yeah, it goes down. I mean, come on, people. How dumb do they think we are? We're not stupid. I mean, anybody can get on there and look at that. And then right now, today, the Dow Jones is 39. I predicted that it would be 40,000 by the end of the year this year. And it's 39. It's been going between 37 and 39. And today it's up 156, 0.40%. So that's what that is. And then there was one more. Oh, the gold and silver for today. Let's see what gold and silver is today. Uh, I have bought from SD Bullion, and they have a pretty good website. And they also show the prices uh, current. I mean, I mean it's current right now. It's whatever it is. So right now, today, gold is... $2,322.56 an ounce, and silver is $27.53. I hope you can see that. Yeah, that's what it is today. So I'm going to try to do more videos in the future, uh, mostly on ICP computer because it is the best thing going right now. And I know it's going up and down. It went up to 16 almost $20, or up to $20. Came back down to 12 And now it's back around 13 or something like that. Let me see. Let me just look real quick. Let me see what ICP is trading for. Hold on. ICP. ICP today is $12.35. You know, let's see what it has been for the last month. So the high for the last year, the high was $20.96. So that was pretty good. And then, it, and then the, the sellers, of course, sold and, and got them. You know, there was a lot of talk, a lot of uh, hype about it. And, you know, there's a lot of promotion going on. And it, it, this is called a rug pull. And, you know, they got people excited about it. It went up to $20. And when it did, those people that talk about it uh, pulled the rug out from under you and got their money, <laughs> made money on it. And then when it when it goes back down to, I don't think it's going to go much lower than twelve, maybe eleven dollars. But you know now that it's back down here, the people that sold it at twenty, they're buying it again at twelve. <laughs> and that's I mean that's the way to make money. I mean if you if you want to trade it, I wouldn't suggest you trade. I do a little bit of it, but I wouldn't suggest that you try to beat the market with cryptocurrency because it's just so hard to time that, and you don't really know what it's going to do. Like Bitcoin, 
some people I know that had Bitcoin, if they'd have stayed in it, they'd be a millionaire now. But they, you know, they go up a little bit and they want to, it went up, I'm selling, I'm getting my money. And, you know, they, if they would have stayed in, which you don't know the future, but sometimes when you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is nothing. So, so anyway, if you stay to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thanks very much for watching. This is Harold signing off, baby. I'll have another one for you soon.